It's like Skyrim with guns. Well, it's quite literally Skyrim with guns. Today, we're diving back into Skyrim's new paid creations in order to check out the Archibus, a new quest and weapon type by Shoe Burglar, featuring a new dungeon around half an hour in length, as well as the aforementioned firearm. The quest can be started by entering the new Dwemer Ruins, Thuncharnthums, located north of Cradle Crush Rock. In completing the dungeon, you'll receive the base model of the new Archibus, and upon clearing the dungeon, you'll unlock the ability to create the different variations in crafting, along with its new ammo type, as long as you have the necessary smithing perks, of course. Upon completion of the quest, and assuming that you've chosen a side in the Civil War, you'll be approached by a courier after the Jagged Crown quest. You'll then be given an opportunity to report the weapon's discovery to your chosen faction in the Civil War, which will then introduce the weapon into the level lists, and will grant you another unique Archivus variant. Or you can choose to be greedy and keep the discovery all to yourself keeping it out of the leveled lists altogether. The new firearm fits into the archery skill line and does a large amount of damage, negating half of your enemy's armor rating. Using the different perks in the archery tree can make it faster to reload and quieter to fire, making it even more powerful in your hands as your adventure continues. This creation comes in at 600 credits, approximately 6 US dollars. Oh. Is there a camp right here? So I'm doing this on a save that already has the Civil War completed, so uh, I'm wondering how that's going to interact with it. Yeah. I'm wondering if that is going to mean anything at all. I mean, the camp's Abandoned? <laughs> so that's good. Imperial Excavation Orders and... Excavation Log 1. Take a detachment of Legionnaires to protect and assist in the excavation of Thun Charn Thums. Marius is convinced there is something of importance buried deep within the ruins. See to it that Marius and his excavation team are well guarded and log a full briefing of the excavation. General Tellius. First seed, fourth error, year 201, day 4. We've gained access to the upper main chamber of the ruins, so far zero encounters with any dwarven automatons. However, some of the soldiers reported sightings of Falmer presence. This has come as no surprise from anyone. However, they pose no concern. Thuncharn Thums doesn't connect to Blackreach, so Falmer presence is expected to be low. Legate Elias. Well, you damn fool, why'd you have to say that? Now that means there's gonna be an army of Falmer waiting for me. Oh, I know it. I just know it. Oop. Started a powerful artifact. Uncover the lost knowledge of... Yeah, someone just sneezed on their keyboard and that's <laughs> how you get Dwemer names. You don't want to know how many takes I had to do for the intro to get that line right. I don't even want to think about it. So this is going to be the way out, yeah. This is likely going to be our way back out once we've cleared the dungeon. Upon entering the ruin of <laughs> Dwemer Sneeze, I hear the familiar hum of ancient dwarven machinery echoing through the cavern. I spotted an imperial encampment outside, which looked to be, until recently, still settled. However, no sign of any imperials. They all decided, yeah, let's go in. What's the worst that could happen? And now they know the worst that could happen when going into a dwemer ruin. Death. Everywhere. For everyone. Excavation Log 2... Marius has informed me that the ruin is in a worse state than expected due to the flooding. The water run in has severely eroded much of the structure and made the ground beneath loose. I'm requesting additional lumber supplies to build some support scaffolding, or I fear the place will collapse. Minor thing, 
and it could just be me, some of the, um, either the grammar or punctuation or even lack of punctuation in the notes, um, it just could be improved upon, which, that might seem like a minor thing, but when I'm paying for a mod, you know, that's one thing I would like to see. We found a lift leading deeper into the ruin. I have given orders to not allow any more than six men on at a time. We don't truly know the extent of structural integrity to the lift uh, due to the flooding and age of the ruin. I've sent Augusta down with a small group of soldiers to assess the danger before sending any of the excavation teams down there. Augusta has returned with news that it is as we had feared. The worst of the flooding is on the lowest level of the ruin. I'm requesting for additional lumber to build more support scaffolding. Yet again. I am once again requesting more lumber. Ooh, little hole right there. Alright. That's gonna be for the lift, isn't it? I see a trap right there. I, I see the little trap <laughs> right there. I'm not stepping on it. How stupid do you think I am? I'll have you know it's just the normal level of stupid. Okay, we got the lever, and that seems to be it up here. Alright. That's a good sound. That's a positive sound, I think. Very obvious trap right there. Marius? Nope, just Excavator. I was hoping it was Marius. I was hoping to, uh, to see some names. Some familiar names. You know what? I'm also, uh, humbly requesting some more scaffolding as well. I'm humbly requesting some more lumber as well. I'll add my name to that order form. Oh, yep, and... <laughs> Hello, Falmer. Yeah, I see him. For anyone that watched my previous videos on uh, Train Wiz's dungeon pack and might have heard me mention that I was having some issues with my difficulty settings, fortunately, some people in the comments were very, very helpful and gave me... An answer did tell me what happened. It was a bug pertaining to uh, the newest version of Skyrim and just kind of like a weird incompatibility with SkyUI. I'll include a link in the description to uh, what I used to fix it. Essentially, it's called SkyUI Difficulty Persistence Fix. And everything is perfectly fine now. Everything is working as it should now. Which is a little bit of a relief. I'm really, really glad it wasn't something that meant my save was broken, my game was broken. Oh, But there weren't that many people who were aware of this yet, so I'm glad that the comments were able to help me out. Rather than me just going ahead and trying to fix it on my own. I, I know we have the entirety of <laughs> that cavern right there, but... You know, this was closer. This was right here. Hello. Ugh, goddamn crunchy bugs. Okay, if I could hit you, that would be great. I like that they just very conveniently floated down to the bottom. They just, they went down for me. I'm really wondering how large this place is going to be. Uh-oh. Search Dwarven Archibisier Master. Okay, well, we're getting some of the ammo now. Not a lot, not, not a ton. But we're getting a little bit. We're getting ready. We're going to stock up as much as we can. Yep, more... Balls? Overload balls, it said. Oh, god. Alright, I can't read that, but I'm gonna take it. Archibus Ramrod. Yeah, they're not gonna give me the weapon now, but they're, you know, they're giving me a slight tease. 
They're getting me ready. The automaton dug up by the excavation team is utterly fascinating. Nothing like I've ever seen before. In base appearance and function, it's similar to the automatons from Solstheim. However, this does not look to have a mounted ballista. It instead has a large tube protruding from its central face, caked in a powder-like substance black in color with a strong smell of sulfur. I must have this sent back to the college for further study. Oop, another ancient dwarven book? Alright, yeah. I think it's the same as the first one, but I'm just gonna take it. And... Just normal stuff there, alright. Yeah, this is how they get you. They're like, oh, look, here's the ammo, here's the fancy ammo, but... You can't use it yet. Okay, so the overload, 18 damage, increased projectile velocity and damage... Versus 15 for the regular. Okay. Okay, we got another door over there. I see Chorus up there. Just checking around. I really don't want to miss anything. Oh, do I need to pull a lever to open that door? Oop. Oop. Oh, or not. Whoops. Did I just seal myself in here? <laughs> did, did I just uh, do that? Did, did I cause that? The Imperials absolutely did that. Did that actually block anything off or... No, wait, no, I think it opened it. Because I came from here, I'm ignoring the Charis and Falmer right now. Yeah, yeah alright. No, I think I just opened that up. Okay. That's much better. Alright, yeah. You know what? Pull strange levers. Just, just do it. Is that gonna be the Archibus itself? No. Okay. Carnthamex gavel, which is gonna set off a trap. Yep, okay. That's an Indiana Jones trap if I've ever seen one. I just didn't put the, uh... <laughs> I, I just didn't put the, the fake idol down. I didn't put the replacement counterweight down. Which was a little silly on my part. Carnthamex gavel, 69 damage, nice. Large explosion with standing power attacks that deal 30 damage at the cost of extra stamina. Okay. And... Well, it's not a new model, it's a retexture, but I do really like the kind of, like, ember effect that we have uh, at the back of the head. So that's a nice little touch. That I do like. Another ancient dwarven book. Are these going to be good for something? I'm just imagining how you have to collect the, uh, the ancient Falmer tomes for Urag. So I'm wondering if this is some sort of equivalent. I mentioned it before, but really liking the dungeon so far. It's well designed. I like the scale that they went for. Oop, did I not hit that? There we go. Yep, yeah, more lumber, uh, more scaffolding, please. So we have door one and door two. They're gonna lead to the same place, aren't they? Oh, oh, or, or not, or not, or not, okay. Oh, look at that. There we go, there's the standing power, there's the standing power attack. Note to self, uh, <laughs> door one. I like door one now. Should have gone with my first instinct. Oh my god, and the- okay, yeah. Th these are gonna be for nothing. They're, they're absolutely gonna be for nothing, because I just found, what, four of them just sitting right here? I mean, I could sell them. They're 15 gold each, but that's also just nothing. Yeah, 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 I see you. I do like that effect. And it taking extra stamina is a perfectly fine trade-off to me. 
just watch. I'm gonna over encumber myself. Guys, I, I think the game's listening to me. I think the dungeon's listening to me. And every time I pick one up, every time they hear me complain about it now, they're gonna spawn another three just to mess with me. Oh my god. Now I want to see how many I have by the end of the dungeon. Now I just... I gotta keep this going. Oh. Yeah, because I'm still facing the regular... Um... Ballistas. I'm not sure how long we're going to be in here, but I thought... I might be encountering the... Uh, the new Ballistas. The Archibusius... Ballistas by now. Oh, 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 why did I say that? Oh, I spoke too soon. I'm kind of scared to see how much damage he does. All right, he missed. Let's keep it that way. Okay. Now, great that I'm only on Adept, but... Yeah, I'm on Adept and, you know, legendary armor, legendary weapons, so... You, you never, ever know. Okay, so more balls. Black powder. Oh, God, I can eat the black powder as an alchemy ingredient? I... Hmm, wait. The fact that it's an alchemy ingredient, that's interesting. I wasn't necessarily expecting that. Alright, nothing else here, it would seem. Alright, let's... It, it's interesting. It doesn't tell me the name of the place. It just says lift down. Also, a really big lever compared to what I normally see. Ooh. Okay. I like this. I like that it has the actual animation of me going down the lift. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> And now I know why it has the animation for me going down the lift. <laughs> now I understand why. Now it all makes sense. Oh god, I'm in Resident Evil right now. And yes, there's other games that do it, but I'm sorry. The very first place my mind goes is Resident Evil. Everything's just getting bumped around right now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just gonna rest my head on this uh, dwarven scrap right here. Nice little pillow. The nicest pillow. Oh, we're underwater. Hmm. What does that say about me? If they said, oh, don't put more than six people on a lift at the time, uh, at a time, otherwise it's gonna break. What are they trying to say about my weight, then? <laughs> I, I did survive. A little touch and go there, but I did survive, so I've got that going for me right now. I think they did a really good job with water, and maybe that sounds like a weird thing to say, but... They did a really good job at making it look and feel like this place is coming down, is coming apart, and you're having all this water that's kind of rushing in through all these gaps, these holes, all of that, so that really kind of adds to the ambiance of the dungeon, so that I'm really, really impressed by- Oh, here we go! Oh, sir, you are now my favorite person. Oh, here we go. Small chance to stagger. Small is fine. Small is gonna be more than fine. And then I never used a crossbow again in my life. Do you have one as well? No. You have a valve? I'll turn the valve. Oh, see? There you go. Valve, good. Valve, very good. As you can tell, the sound effect for firing in itself of the actual projectile, it sounds almost more akin to just like a fireball going off, and it might actually be just the firebolt sound. But I I noticed that the reload sound is just the crossbow sound, unfortunately.
Wait, how did I get another one? Oh, did it just load dwarven bolts? Wait. Yeah, it... Hmm. Okay. I think I may have found a little bit of a bug. I think I may have found a little bit of a glitch with this. Because I'm out of the regular Archivist balls. And it keeps on trying to equip dwarven bolts. Do I essentially just have infinite ammo? Has it been using any... No, it hasn't been touching my overload uh, ammo at all. Yeah, it'll swap two dwarven bolts, not use those, and then it'll say I still have one Arquebus ball left. I just have infinite ammo now. Well, that's, um... <laughs> that's a little bit of a bug. That's definitely not intended at all. Right, I'm gonna make it fair. I I'm gonna stop cheesing it now. I'll, I'll swap to the overload. And once again, this is going to be taken from all the archery perks I already have, but yeah. Uh, it almost feels like there should be a longer reload process for this. Of like, loading the ball and then pulling the lever itself. Let me scavenge for ammo real fast. Oop. Oh, that's still falling apart. That's still real, real bad for us. Alright, turn the third valve. Oh, that's gonna be really up there, isn't it? Yeah, I would say they don't necessarily give you enough ammo during the dungeon itself so that you can only rely on the Archibus, which, not necessarily the worst idea. If anything, I feel like that might be kind of fitting in some ways of, oh, you can't just use this as a crutch for the entirety of the dungeon. Oh, oh, he has an Archibus. I like that. Okay, I'm happy. I like that. And he has a unique texture, which I also like. But shouldn't this Archibus be more dwarven in appearance rather than being more of a steel appearance? Unless the one that we're using right now was a prototype designed by the Imperials? Because the dwarves wouldn't make one with wood and steel and iron and everything. They would have made one with dwarven metal. You gotta really just stretch a little bit to uh, turn that valve. It's fine. You really reach your hands up and just turn, turn, turn. Also, uh, if you're scared of heights, don't look down. If you're not scared of heights, just try not to slip, try not to fall. Just reach... Oh, you don't have to reach too, too far for this one. Oh, reroute the flow of steam. Oh, where does this lead? Oh, is this an easy way out? Wait, did I just find the exit? <laughs> I was just looking for the steam valve, and I think it's going to be all the way up there, actually. Um, yeah, this is where I found the original Archibus. Just that door there, pull the lever, and... I, I think I could just leave that way. I, I don't think I'm supposed to, though. So we have another... Exit over here. Sealed. Oh, hi. Sorry, sorry. You you stay asleep. D don't worry about me. I gotta pull this valve. Wait. What? <laughs> I still don't see it. Oh. Okay. All right. I see you. Really? Does the Archibus not count for this? There's no way. Really? All I'm saying is you gave us the Archibus. Um. 
You, you gave us a new weapon. And then we can't even use it for the puzzle in the same dungeon? That seems like a real missed opportunity right there. This also would have been a good opportunity to have a Centurion Guardian with an Archibus of his own. Also, yeah. Uh, infinite ammo bug. Infinite ammo glitch. I don't even think we're done with the dungeon yet because the objective says continue further into the ruins. Oh, uh, just looking around. Because we still haven't encountered or found the named Imperials. Unless they just didn't come in here. Unless they just left when things started going terribly. You know, as higher-ups often do. Well, there goes that. I hope there was nobody alive down there. Oh, I see more bodies. This is good. That's <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Oh, I'm so happy that I see more dead bodies. Oh, this really makes my day now. Excavator. Soldier. Oh, here's Augusta! Explosive Archibus Ball. Regular Archibus, which... Uh, I'm not gonna take a second one. I don't need it. So yeah, you can get one a lot earlier yeah. if you're more... Diligent about looting. Oh. That just zapped me. That just shocked me. I don't like that. Yep, yep, yep. Fortunately, that's not doing too much damage. Dwarven Ballista. Imperial Soldier. Okay. Need the, uh, the Dynamo Core. Which, <laughs> he got so close. Oh, he was right there, and he just, he, he flubbed. And there's another one over there. Okay, I can see that. I hope they left me another one here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's still okay. He's, he's alive, he's fine. He was alive, and I felt it. I missed. But I got him back to the ledge, which is good, because now he won't fall off, and I won't lose all that sweet ammo. All two of them. <clears throat> Dynamo core. And let's quickly run that up. Ta-da! Right? Ta-da? Yeah, ta-da! See, I know. It's not my first dwarven dungeon now. Completed. Continue your journey into the ruins. Wait. Okay. So that means now we just explore a little bit more. Day 20. Marius has translated the dwarven scroll we found within the library. Our quartermaster is currently at work building the device Marius believes to have uncovered. Okay. One of our soldiers have dug up what might be an until now an undocumented type of dwarven automaton similar to the ballistas encountered in Solstheim, but black in coloration with a potent odor of sulfur. It's been carried up to the upper chamber of the ruin for study. See, now it all makes sense. Yes, these are the reversed engineered versions that we found. These are the ones that the Imperials were building uh, based on the ballista. So that answers, you know, all my questions. That solves everything right there. Okay, so need iron ingot and firewood. Do I have potions and stuff? I have potions. Do I have a ring? I'm actually, I'm wearing the ring right now. Never mind. So then we can bump that up to 102 damage as legendary. Yeah. Now avoid the trap. I see the trap. Very obvious trap. Pull the lever. I was worried that was going to set off a trap. 
Oh. Hey there. You, uh, had some trouble? Got a little bit more than you bargained for? I'm saving in case I do, and as soon as I say that, yep. I almost wish the Archibus Ballistas were more common. Like, we got these great new variations um, for the spheres, for the ballistas. I wish we had almost leaned into that a little bit more. Because damage-wise, they're not too bad. They're not necessarily too, too terrible, but I do wish that had been a little bit more of a standard enemy type in here. I'm just taking up my frustration that he's not unique. I'm taking up my frustration that he's not shooting me with bullets. Library... Power focusing. If the library loses power again, you will need to reroute the steam flow back into the machine. Just like before, if the actuators jam, a well-placed arrow or spell will be enough to loosen them, but not the Archimus bullets. Once steam is flowing to the machine, you must place the crystal back into the armillary and refocus it using the tuning forks and the buttons until all three light beams line up to each mirror within the bowl. Take great care handling the tuning forks. These are the only two that we have. I'm gonna leave that note there. That way... I can, um... just come back to that and refer to that later. So what I'm gonna do... Oh, where's the first one? Is it... in there? Wait... Okay, so the tuning fork is stuck in there, which means I should be able to free it this way, right? There we go. Primary tuning fork and the focusing crystal. So place that in there. And now, let's equip the tuning forks. The primary, secondary. Place the crystal, focus the dwarven machine. So what do I do if... Okay. Oop, alright. So I think I have the beams where I want them to be now? I, I think so, yeah. So... Just to give you a little bit of an idea so you can use this as a visual guide. Which, you know, this is similar to, you know, other stuff we have in the game already. So this isn't brand new, but... If anything, it's a good way to reuse an existing mechanic, something that we only see the one time. There we go. Vision's a little blurry, um, it happens. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Please, no more concussions. I've already had a couple today. Investigate the corpses. Even the game's calling me out for not looting enough. Granted, they're telling me who to search, but still. Yeah, so explosive, excavation log, and here we have Atgear, which, well, it's the same model, yeah, um, small chance to stagger, it does have a faster reload speed than the base one, than the regular one, uh, but other than that, largely the same, same damage, same, uh, other stats, our quartermaster finished forging the contraption from Marius' schematics, which I first thought to be a crude iron pipe clamped to a stick. The whole camp fell in silence, myself included, after Marius gave a live demonstration. He aimed at a deer in the distance, and a single loud bang echoed across the valley, louder than any sound I had ever heard. Black smoke with a potent smell of sulfur clouded over Marius. This may be the end of the rebellion, at least, and restore peace to Skyrim. Well, about that. Okay, so here are 
The ball schematics. Solid iron ball seated into the paper shell and securely stuck within the shell with a tightly tied string in wax. Powder contained within a shell made from paper, hardened in wax made from honey. Powder loaded into the shell must be carefully loaded to the correct amount or risk over pressure. No more than 340 grains of powder. Oh yeah, let me just count all the grains individually. Use measurements, Marius, come on. Hardened iron tube, hollowed with one bore diameter hole. Clamped to wooden stock, it is imperative the iron tube is not forged by an incompetent smith. Well, piece of rope clamped into the hand of the lever upon which the end is burning to ignite the powder and discharge the weapon. Lever riveted into wooden stock, though not so tightly to prohibit movement. Alright, more overload. We have the control cube. We have a translated journal. Oh, okay. Alchemy increased. Thank you. I'll be taking that. I can't believe I'm actually here standing in the library of Thuncharnthums. This is all too fascinating. I can't begin to imagine all the things I could learn here. All this knowledge lost to time. We're no doubt the first people to set here in countless millennia. And I'll be the first to survive it. On one of my many expeditions into the Daedric Realms for study, whether it be my luck expired or my hubris getting the better of me, I contacted Clavicus Vile in his realm. I asked many questions and he had answers for every one. My final question was the answer to everlasting life. He presented me an alchemical recipe in exchange for my gauntlets. Whether to serve as punishment for trespassing within his realm or a cruel joke on behalf of Clavicus, I do not know. Once I returned back to my laboratory, I created the potion based on the alchemical recipe and it appears to be a grit-like black powder. However, the moment any open flame touched the powder, it spontaneously combusted, leaving a strong sulfur-like odor, staining my utensils black and blew off two of my fingers from my left hand. Prognosis, the alchemical recipe was in fact not what I was led to believe it was. However, it may have other uses. Further research is needed. And then they strapped it into their automatons. Decided to uh, try and murder us that way. So that's going to be the exit. Oh, that's a boss right there. Okay, I was saying I wanted to fight. They, uh... I was saying I wanted to fight one of them. That's what I get. Rise and shine. Yep. Yep, yep. That's really cool. Oh, there's more! I thought it was just gonna be the one. I don't know why I thought that, but alas, here we are. Are you not an enemy? Are you just here for display purposes? I'm sorry. I, I thought you were my boss. I missed. It's fine. Oh no, I'm throwing all the, uh, the dwarven books around. Oh no! We have to preserve them, we need them! <laughs> They're very important. Or so I would, for some reason, have you believe. Huh? Okay, there he is. There he goes. Okay. Just backing up a little bit. Yeah, really like the new textures. It's a little thing, but it really just helps to make them feel new, unique, and also just a little bit more intimidating. Uh, he yeah. doesn't have an Archibus, mind you. But still, just having the new texture was nice. Ooh, Archibus, your staff? What does that do? Oh, chance to summon a Dwarven Archibus here for 60 seconds. I like that. I don't know if I like that it's a chance to. I, I kind of just wish it was to summon them, but... Okay. Alright, I, I, I think they're fucking with me at this point. Look at this! Oh my god, let me just take them all! I'm gonna have 50 of these damn things by the end. I'm gonna have 50 of these stupid books. I don't know why I'm taking them. Dwemer Archibus Schematics. 
Oh, another ramrod, and ramrod there, more books. Because why wouldn't I want more ancient Dwemer books? Alright, and I think that is everything. Oh, wait, this goes back to the library? I suppose so. Do I use the control switch again? I do. Alright. Ooh! Carnthamex Verdict. Which, it looks... Yeah, it's still the wooden stock. I don't know, I just, I don't see dwarves using a wooden stock for this. I feel like the dwarven version should look a bit different, and it is slightly different. Because if you compare the regular Archivist to Carnthamex Verdict, the regular Archivist is all wood on the stock, and this is more metal. But even still, I would imagine that the dwarves would use dwarven metal. Higher base damage, attacks ignore 50% of armor, small chance to stagger, and when fire releases a large steam cloud damaging affected targets. So less damage, but I'm going to swap to that. Oh, Treasure Hunter. <laughs> Wait, how far did he get then? Not very far, because he wouldn't have found the control cube. This study is written by Marius Gaius of the Mages College of Cyrodiil. In my many travels in service to the Empire, I have learned the stories of the Dwemer, their culture, history, and their many fascinating ancient technologies, thought lost to time and set to record them that they might aid the Empire and Tamriel through our darkest times, and that this amazing part of Tamrielic history does not go forgotten. Thuncharn Thums, I believe it to be a place of study for the Dwemer people not too dissimilar to the College of today. However, based on my research on Dwarven history, Thuncharn Thums may hold a vast library of Dwarven knowledge. Anything the Dwemer deemed important was catalogued and stored deep within Thuncharn Thums either for historical preservation or what I'm unsure. But what I am sure is that, if true, the information held there could be utterly fascinating and paramount to further understanding the Dwemer people. The age of Thuncharnthums is hard to tell as I've yet to find any mention of when it was constructed, though I suspect Thuncharnthums may be among the oldest dwarven ruins within Skyrim. Yeah, you didn't get very far now, did you? Oh, to Skyrim. Yeah, he certainly didn't get very far at all. Okay, and that brought us to the back entrance, the Great Lift at Thuncharn Thums. All right. You want to fight a dragon? Oh, and whatever whatever else is looking around spiders. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, spiders. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye me, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Goodbye me, maybe. <laughs> All right, dragon versus gun. Base dragon, too. Ooh. He's not going to last very long. He's not going to stand a chance. Alduin brings you back to life, breathes you back to life, shouts you back to life. A man struts out of a dwarven ruin and just uh, has a gun, and you're like, what the hell is a gun? Almost. Almost. He really doesn't like what's going on, and... Boom. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yeah? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Started arming the Stormcloaks. Read the orders from Galmar Stonefist. Oh, God. I'm just imagining him with a gun. That sounds uh, a little dangerous. I've gotten word that the Empire up until recently was conducting an excavation on a dwarven ruin, and it just so happens you were spotted leaving those very same ruins. Bring me any findings you might think would serve us well. Well, in my case, they've already won the Civil War, so, um... They're just gonna use it as a matter of, um... Like, in enforcing their rule. As requested, I have the schematics for you along with Marius's translations. 
Ah. That's what I like to hear. I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. Uh -oh. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. He's dead. Here. I want you to have this. Don't ask. Just take it. He's real dead. I'm so glad I'm getting 150 gold for giving you guns and taking the schematics as well. Okay, also the conversation didn't exit out, so I have to do that myself. I'm hoping that means I still get the unique one later on. They would need time to craft it. They would need time to make it themselves. They're not going to have it ready to go on day one. So black powder is crafted at a smelter. It requires eight charcoal and a fire salt. So a basic archivist ball requires an iron ingot and two black powder, and that creates 11 of them. An explosive archivist ball, you create two at once. Iron ingot, eight black powder, and one dwarven Spare oil. An overload is six per batch, one iron ingot, and five Take black powder. Pity, basic archivist, base damage 69, nice. Six iron ingot, three firewood, four leather, six leather strips. Dragon Archibus, base damage 83, 6 ebony ingot, 3 dragon bone, 4 leather, 6 leather strips. 73 base damage, 6 dwarven metal ingots, 3 firewood, 4 leather, 6 <coughs> leather strips. The Saber Archibus, 2 corundum ingots, 3 firewood, Saber Cat Snow Pelt, 6 leather strips, 4 gold ingots, base damage 76. And that's all the variations that I'm seeing here. But I believe there to be a couple more. After a week of waiting, I did receive a unique Archibus named Caliver, courtesy of a courier. It's a variant of the Saber Archibus that has a fairly lengthy, unique enchantment, which has a chance to cause nearby enemies to flee, and is supposed to give Detect Life when aimed at the cost of Magicka, although I never saw this effect myself. Let me start by saying that I was very pleasantly surprised by the dungeon. It was longer than the creations page made it out to be, but I really enjoyed it. It felt really well designed with different quest stages and objectives throughout. The dwarven lift section in particular really stood out to me and was a fun addition. Making use of vanilla puzzles like the focusing crystal was a good way to add a puzzle that we're already familiar with. The new Archivist versions of Dwarven Spheres and Ballistas were good, because it felt like they added something new to the experience, giving us a new enemy subtype, although I would have liked to see more of them. The notes served as a good way to move the story along, and it was really fun finally reaching the end and finding the remains of the Imperial Survey Team. And letting us find an Archivist during the dungeon then meant we were able to experiment with it as we continued through the quest, rather than only having it as a quest reward itself. I like that we got a couple new weapons in addition to the Archivist itself with the new Warhammer and Staff. And you might be thinking, but George, weren't you just complaining about the legendary dungeon pack being too long? Well, yes. Yes, I did. And I stand by that. For me, while this was a long dungeon, it worked because it felt better paced. You always felt like you were moving forward towards a goal, and you had enough changes within the dungeon. The lift, the falling pieces, finding new weapons, and so on, that it never really felt monotonous to me. The models and textures on the weapons are really good. I think it looks like something that fits well enough into Skyrim. If we were to get firearms in the Elder Scrolls, I'd want it to look like this, rather than a more contemporary rifle. Not that I really want firearms to appear canonically in the Elder Scrolls, it's fun for a mod, or in this case, a creation, but I wouldn't want it to be canon. I loved it in Fable, I loved it in Guild Wars, but not so much the Elder Scrolls. And I do have my issues with this creation as well. I wish the Archivist had its own unique sounds. Having it fire, only to hear what sounds like the fireball spell, and reload it only to hear the crossbow sound, feels a bit disappointing and underwhelming for a paid pack. Not being able to use the Archivist to trigger the Dwemer resonators feels like a huge missed opportunity. You just gave us a cool new weapon type, and you can't even use it the way that you would a crossbow or bow in the same scenario. Having the same animation as the crossbow, not my favorite. The infinite ammo bug, also not my favorite. 
there is one more unique Archibus in the files called Dove, which I believe would come from siding with the Imperials instead of the Stormcloaks. As the name might imply, it's a variant of the Dragon Archibus, with slightly less base damage, but comes with a unique enchantment similar to Caliver. I would have liked to maybe see a couple other variants for crafting, whether it be an ebony version or a silver model. I did improve all the variants to Legendary at the Grindstone, with the regular Dragon Archibus being the strongest. And when bringing my archery skill back down to 15, it brought the base damage of the regular Archibus down into the 30s. Going around with the Archibus, it is really fun to use in combat. It does feel stronger than the crossbow, and with maxed out archery really doesn't feel any slower than the crossbow does. It doesn't feel overpowered though, which is definitely a plus to me. One thing is that I did wait a while in game, over a week after completing the quest and sharing the schematics, and I didn't really run into anyone else with the Archibus. Neither the Stormcloak soldiers and guards, or enemies, either. This might just be a matter of my own save game, but I think it would be really interesting to see it distributed to a few bandit chiefs, in order to make fights with them feel a bit more dangerous. I do almost wish that the Archibus did more knockback damage, and had a higher chance to stagger, given how large the rounds are. I also wish that the rounds could set oil slicks on fire, the same way that flame spells do. But one really nice detail that I noticed, and it can be hard to see, is that there is actually a bit of the shell or paper or something that does eject from the weapon after firing, and will roll around on the ground for a bit before disappearing. I did wind up collecting almost a hundred of the ancient Dwemer books, which is really my own fault for taking that many. They can be sold the way that any other book in the game can be, but I think it would be much more interesting if they could be traded to Urag or to Calselmo, and it could give you some sort of benefit. Maybe it could increase the number of Archibus balls that you make per batch. Other than that, it was nice just to see a new clutter style item added, just to help the dungeon feel a bit new, and fit into the story of this being a secret dwarven archive. And I did check after the fact. The lift becomes inaccessible after its descent sequence, but you can return to the dungeon via the great lift or the shortcut via the lower levels. Now, let's talk about the price. At $6, we get a new dungeon, new quest, a new weapon type, along with its variants. While I really like the dungeon and I like the weapon type, I do wish that this was priced slightly lower, possibly at $5 or maybe even down to Four. Especially given that we're getting vanilla audio for the weapon itself, no voice acted quests, and so on. But I would say that I was still pleasantly surprised overall. The dungeon might be my favorite part of this creation. And one thing I do want to add is that I've seen some people mix up the idea of what is canon and what is lore friendly. In the case of the Archibus, I think they did a decent job of trying to explain how a black powder weapon might come to exist in the universe, and why it would have been locked away in secret. But this does not mean that suddenly the Archibus is part of Elder Scrolls canon. While each creation has to be approved by Bethesda, they are still technically mods, and aren't being added to the canon. Hell, we still don't have official word on if Creation Club is canon or not. And this is certainly not the first time that guns have been brought to Skyrim. So don't worry, there are free alternatives available. The one that I recommend is Lore Friendly Guns of Skyrim by Onroys. This adds numerous variations of rifles and pistols to Skyrim, including Iron, Elven, Stalrim, Imperial, Ebony, and more. You can craft several different types of bullets, including elemental rounds similar to the crossbow equivalents. This free mod is available for both PC and Xbox. There are a handful of other gun mods out there, but I would consider this to be the highest quality one that I've seen, and really matches a lot of what the creation set out to do, including integration into the game's leveled lists. But that's gonna be all for today. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, check out the Patreon or the YouTube memberships. And you can always catch my live streams at twitch.tv slash zero period productions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.